guys how are you doing today i hope everybody feels okay welcome to trending brought to you by airtel my name is nancy isime and i'm your host as always as you know on this show i discuss everything and everyone that is trending which is what i'm going to do guess what right after this break stay with me i'll be right back hey guys welcome back to trending brought to you by airtel today i'll be discussing do producers switch to music production for cheddar you know we like that cheddar and discussing this with me is none other but dj kubla oh, what's up boy how <laughs> are you oh well. i like your swag i like like the brown and like the brown and the brown there <laughs> and the black there and like the Thank gold you. tell me what are you wearing what is the inspiration behind it on our style update segment please well um i just like to look fair like okay clean nice okay, okay. And i'm coming to see you oh shit so you better <laughs> you better bring on your a yeah, game sure, sure okay so how are you feeling today i'm doing very fine okay so what inspired fine. your outfit today it was just basically coming to see me nothing about your mood well um sunny day and um i just wanted to look good look you know? good you look good you did well on that part Thank very you. good so let's talk about music yes. um how long have you been dj for um I used to DJ. I'm mm -hmm. no longer a DJ. Really? Yes. So why are you still DJ Koblon? No, I tried to take the DJ out, but it it's not work. working. <laughs> really? So you still have to just I just have to roll with it, you know. But <sighs> but uh, the thing is, in the studio, I mm -hmm. still take the craft of the DJ. Okay. No longer on the stage, mm -hmm. but now in the studio because sometimes when I have to produce different artists, mm -hmm. we have to like see, you know. The kind of sounds you can design with them mm -hmm. to rep to make them represent their brands properly. Okay, so yeah. now you're basically just a music producer. Yes. So it's safe to say you're DJ Koblon, but the music producer yes. that part is out. Exactly. Okay. Um, but do you believe that there's an existing um, chemistry between a producer and his artist? Do you have to have an existing chemistry? You have to build the chemistry okay. first, you okay. know, because when we work with artists, we want to um create an image that mm -hmm. would properly they can properly repre represent that brand with mm -hmm. that image okay so say for instance i'm working with an artist i mm -hmm. need to understand what music they will be able to carry for a very long time right yes. and then you stick to it exactly. are you the, one of the producers who feel like okay this kind of bit fits this artist and you just keep giving those kind of bits but mm -hmm. why though yeah why? Well, we it's it's also proper to make a switch, you okay. know, because if we have to work for someone for the first time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we need to make sure that um, we don't just switch them like that. We don't okay. confuse their fan base. Okay. We need to make sure that their fan base understands that, okay, this artist is coming with something new mm -hmm. and we like the direction. Okay, okay. Yes. Tell me, what are the challenges of being a producer and how did you make that switch? What were the challenges that you faced? Yes. Um, as a, mu as a music producer, mm -hmm. um, if I have to work with any artist, the only challenge I, I face is having to make that first cut. Okay. You know, having to say, okay, this is the path that this artist would represent for mm -hmm. a very long time. So right. it, it, takes, it takes a while, but mm -hmm. then by the time we get used to it, mm -hmm. it's, it's nothing. Okay, now, so there, there's a trend of, you know, producers switching to become artists, singing their own songs. I mean, it's, it's not correct. just now, it's been for a while. I mean, I remember, mm -hmm. I think the, the the very example that I can remember right now is Sam Clef. And like, he yeah. just one time woke up and then we saw him on our TV screen skin <laughs> and I was like, what is this? But well, it was really nice. It was a hit yeah, then. I yes. loved the music and I jammed to it. Yes. What do you think about this trend? It's still music. Okay. Everyone, we're still making music. Right. It's just, right. Uh, we want people to now see that we, can actually sing. That mm -hmm. is for those who can sing. I can't sing. You I can't sing. sing. <laughs> yes. Do you have to I know mean, how to sing to be an artist in Nigeria? I don't think you, you should know how to sing. I think you should know art. Mm -hmm. You know, you should know what people would like and mm -hmm. you should be original. Mm -hmm. You know, Nigerians like originality. Mm -hmm. If you can't come with something that is not strong, strong. You know, if, if you can't sing and you can do something, maybe perform, okay. that's something. You know, people would like to watch you as long as you're entertaining okay so it's not really about the talent no look, talent is vast but for how long does the art last for i mean for how long does the stage performances last mm -hmm. for because most times we have an artist come with the first hit song and then yeah. after a while they fizzle out because 
of course, they can't keep up with the appearances. I and mean, yeah. what it, they presented at the time was what was in vogue. In vogue and yes. then moving on, they're confused, and then we yes. lose that artist. Yes. So how, how long do you think um, an artist without talent can, can, can last for in the industry? Well, the artist needs to understand their talent. If they don't okay. understand their talent, I don't think they will have a long-term goal with okay. that talent. Okay. So, for instance, an artist just maybe fluke their, their way into the industry mm -hmm. and they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. They need to use that moment to understand, oh, this is what I'm using to capture people's hearts mm -hmm. now. So, and build on that. Yes, and build on that because okay. it's a new change. So mm -hmm. if they refuse to conform to that change, mm. I'm sure they would experience much more difficulty. Okay, now, so back in the days, I know there are a lot of people who say, okay, the reason why I'm going into music is because I have the passion. Yeah. It's because I love to sing. Yes. It's because I have the voice to sing. But why do you think people do that now? A lot of people will say, okay, I've heard people say, it's because of the fame, because of women, yeah. because I can get to afford all the things I want to do and yeah. probably just make a lot of money. Yes. But tell me, why do you think, judging from artists that come to you on a regular basis, why yeah. do you think most people go into music these days? Why artists go into music? Mm -hmm. That's the ones that I've worked with. Yeah. Well, majority of them is basically for passion okay. and maybe they enjoy my production. Right. Because when I produce artists, I, I don't just make the music so it's kind of just on my own part as mm. the producer mm. or just on the artist part mm. it's just the, the fusion the chemistry between, between the producer two. Okay. and the artist so this mm. is what they listen to this is what they consume and then whenever i have the chance to work with them i realize that oh i remember a time a, a security officer mm. at zenit band mm. actually saved a lot of money to say oh i want to work with Kuba. and mm. i'm I, I was very surprised because I realized that I am not even as passionate as this man. Right. And it worked that he's also a great singer. And I realized that, oh, so some people can actually save funds to, to push their own careers. And Did he yeah. make a hit? Did you make he, him a hit? Yes, I made him a hit. Really? What's it, his he's name? not released it yet. It's not? It's oh, not we look forward to that. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for a security officer, that's amazing. No, like, I need to save money now and come and probably just try my hands at music. You know no, what you, I mean? You, you know what I mean? But tell me, do you receive royalties as a producer? Yes, I do. You I do? do. Yeah. How many producers in Nigeria can boast of that privilege? Well, the thing is... Um, How many are you aware can, for? I oh, actually I can't off. tell. Mm. I actually can't tell because mm. um, how I set mine up was when I was in the UK and I happened to understand that, okay, if you have to make music for international artists, mm -hmm. you can't just play around. You can't just say, oh, just pay me for production. That mm -hmm. is the payment you receive for production is actually a licensing fee. Okay. You, yes. You are actually entitled to your intellectual property. That is right. the royalties you're making off the songs. So right. by the time I got um, mine set up at PRS, that mm -hmm. is the company I work with mm -hmm. for royalties, okay. um, they made me understand that, okay, they are going to um, take care of mechanical royalties and even, um, what's the other one? Um, the one from digital rights. Right, and all. Yes. okay, so okay. I've, Has I've, that chased away potential customers? Uh, not really because I, it's not like I do it with every artist, you okay. know, like, like I said, international artists, people mm -hmm. who push internationally, because mm -hmm. there's some people that promote, some artists that promote not only Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it works in Nigeria, but mm -hmm. I'm very sure that now everything is digital. Now, how many years do you think it would take um, a producer in Nigeria to locally produce music and then get his royalties from it? Mm, I believe it's just beyond making music. You have to be... You have to make a lot of research. Okay. You, you sh everything doesn't have to be the music, 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 mm. or in the studio. You okay. have to, you have to find that information. You mm -hmm. have to, you have to survey. You have to, you have to work for information. You don't just make music. In as much as we live to be inspired mm -hmm, and know mm -hmm. how to, you know, take the the the, the output of what the brand dishes out to the mm -hmm. next level. We still need to be well informed about right, the craft. Right, you know, right. Go on the internet or ask questions. Okay, you know? yeah. okay. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Tell us what are you working on at the moment? It's all right. What are you working on at the moment? Well, um, January 28th, I released a video to my first single. Okay. You know, you said it's, it's um, how do I put it now? 
producers having to put out songs you know mm -hmm, it's, it's a it's a switch that mm -hmm. That hasn't been evoked for a long time, and mm. it's now you know people are so doing. This is your first single. Yes, that is my first. No, that is my second single. For real, for real. Do yes. you do some singing? No, I don't sing. What do you do? I just, I just participated. In oh, the... okay. So you just say greatness. <laughs> no, and no. What's no. your own? What's your own? No, um, like, what do you say? What's your your um, what's the word? Motto. What's motto your, like yeah. logo. Yeah. What is what's your name? I, don't, I can't say it. It's it's you don't electronic. Say yellow, fresh, <laughs> good, uh, DJ oh on the beat. Just oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, You don't do all that, no? Uh, ah. No, but but the thing is, I, well, why I put out a single was because songwriters in Nigeria is a I think is 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 rare for people to see someone as a songwriter and say this person is a songwriter not an artist this this person strictly writes songs mm. so i happened to to meet someone who writes songs this was years ago and they don't always give this songwriter credit and right, the person yeah. has written a lot of, a lot of hit songs mm. I'm, and i'm wondering is it that it's a taboo in the african music culture that mm. if someone writes for you that means you're not good enough you mm. have to no and i'm like that is not um that is not true mm. someone can write your songs and it it's allowed mm. We're, i'm very sure that it's been a very long time rihanna has written but i think it's a has, shameful act anyway i'm not saying yeah. it is a shameful i'm saying in the sense of the way nigerians or the way africans see it and yeah. especially when somebody says i didn't write my song so it's yes. more of it's not a shameful act for the writer yeah it's to the person who is singing the song they feels like it's shameful. shameful they feel like okay i can't write my song so i'm mm -hmm. not a real artist, artist. and they've painted yeah. it to be shameful i know it's not because we I have understand. artists like beyonce like rihanna some of the greatest they the world, they tell you yes i yes. have right and you write yes. it right there and it's nothing to be ashamed of yes. well, how do you think an artist can absolutely put their mindset and the mindset of their fans to tell them that you know what and as much as i didn't write this song i'm yes. still as good as a musician and this yes. person wrote for me how do you think people can do that well i believe that they need to invest more invest more time with the songwriter if, okay. because really these days a lot of artists are engaged with so many activities from mm. shows interviews uh photo shoots just here and there mm. and they could be very tired right. to even get in the studio to record something that is really, really dope. Mm. Like something people would listen to and like. Like, right. You know? So that time is really short to get very creative because mm. it's it's music. You mm. can't put any low standard material out, out there. there yes. So that is let why somebody else do let that. Let somebody hear. Yeah. So that is why right. we work with songwriters so that that part we they can still Taking retain off. yes right you well, thank you very much for sharing no, and i hope good. people are watching and they can of course see that this is not a shameful act and it also yes. helps the artist yes. to take time and do other things and just relax and do music for yes. you yes. thank you very much for sharing You're all right welcome. guys we'll go on a short break and when we come back do not go anywhere as we will be playing some games please enjoy the video of today we'll be right back <laughs> Brother Shaggy. Brother Shaggy, what do you have to say about the snake that swallowed 36 million naira from Jam Office? Snake swallowed million for Jam Office? Yes. Snake. Hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. Nigeria don't kill you. Now, 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 they call snake in the monkey shadow. What well, another one give Adam and Eva food for Victoria Garden City? Now nah, I know what I go do. Because I get one friend when he in jail, he ain't a shower can. Oh yeah, he go give me sleep. She be not jam off his say that one swallow money. We go go wire coffee, go swallow one million and seventy million. Yeah, ah, bad guy. We go go invest your fee, bad one. Go release all this snake where they inside your zoo. Hey, we go come go come and enter office, go swallow eight hundred and eighty-eight thousand million. Yeah, before April or March, Nigeria go down broke. You understand? They will go borrow money from your Uber to sponsor the country. Because on Igbo say he who swallows got more money. I swallow national pride. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by HL. I still have uh, DJ Koblon on my hot seat. I saw something here, so I was about to call you that, but don't worry. The next thing we're about to play <laughs> is the Fast Hair Question segment game where we get to, you know, talk about you. Okay. Under 60 seconds. A okay. discussion, a quick discussion. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, time starts now. When was the last time you drank, Gary? Drank? 
Gary. Gary. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh my god. A long time. Favorite <laughs> 2018 track? 2018 track. Yes. Um, jeez. Nina Simon. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote is focus on what you have to do right now mm-hmm. and um, every other thing will come. Later. Okay. What was what is your memorable moment in the industry? A memorable moment in the industry was um, oh my god. Okay, yeah. When 60 seconds, right? Right. So it's ticking. <laughs> Okay, we'll move past. Would right. you give up producing for $15 million? I, no. For real, no. Stripper or convict as a wife? Convict. Inyaya or techno? Wow. This is really hard to say. Well, Inyaya gave me the chance, so Inyaya. Inyaya. Oh, great. Good memory or ability to see the future. Good memory. Mm-hmm. Good memory. Good memory. Okay, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. BBW or Trim Girls? Is that Trim Girls? Yeah. Yeah, Trim Girls, sure. Trim, for real, Trim Girls? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you slim, slender guys like them, BBW. No, man. No, I'm, not you. I'm different. You're yeah. different. You better tell them that you <laughs> is different. Oh, my god. So if gosh. you come with that BBW to DJ Kobla, he'll be like, get oh. out of here because I want my Trim oh Girls. Oh, my god. She should better sing, though. You should sing. Everybody has to sing to come close to you. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if she has, if I have to work with BBW, she has to know how to sing. To like, sing, yeah. wow, whoa. So you have it. You better know how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll move on right now to the All next right. level, which is the tribe. What happens? I get to ask you a couple of social media abbreviations here and daily. You just get to give me the full meanings. Okay. You know that segment? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. First one up is O H. What is O H? O H is, oh my God, O H. I don't know. Well, you can say it's overhead. I'm going to let you know because I really Thanks. know. Sure. Uh, YOLO. You only live once. Right. MT. Something that happens on Twitter. MT. MT. I, I don't know. MT. Do you want me to help you? <laughs> yes, help me, please. Okay, great. Uh, there's no Nancy in that somewhere. You need to push. Help me, please, Nancy. I've pushed the button, so help me, Nancy. There's right? no please in that. Okay, okay. Please, Nancy, help me. Oh, great. Now, that sounds better. <laughs> Modify tweet. Modify tweet. Yes. Great. Easy empty. That's what it actually means. Thank you. Uh, TBT. Throwback Thursday. WCW. Woman Crush Wednesday. Yes. MCM. Man Crush Monday. There you go. GTG. Got to go. Got to go. <laughs> Last one of OOTD. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> uh-huh. I need to push this button like five times for you to please help me, Nancy. <laughs> wow, you didn't even try to think about it. No, I can't okay, even try no problem. But it means it. outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Yes, yes, yes. But you That's did good well. To know. Yes, good, to, good know. to know. You can say Thank outfit you. of the day. You can say POTD, photo of the day. There's a lot mm. of OTDs, which is off the day, whatever you can put in there. You can say C O T D, chain of the day. Yeah, but don't say that's on trending because I'll fail you. (laughs) (laughs) All right, thank you very much for participating in my games. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself in it. But don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back as he has to read some nasty comments. You know, right? Oh, my gosh. We'll be right back. (laughs) Welcome back, guys. Uh, It's about that time, that part you love to hate. I'm going to give this to DJ Coco, and he's going to read the nasty comments. Please, and respond to each of them the best way you can. Okay. Brick says he can't produce anything. Mm. Be doing fine, boy, up and down. Oh shit! Well, he thinks you're fine. Okay, should I read the two comments, or should I just? Uh, well, you can respond to the first one. Okay, <sighs> he can't produce anything. What is the person listening to, though? Like, that's my question because okay. I want to understand. I need to make sure that it's my production they're listening to because okay. man. Okay. Okay, I, I appreciate that comment. The second one is, I don't get the hype around him. Are these people are these people Nigerians? <laughs> first of all, because I don't know what to say, man. I, I said I don't know. What you to don't say. know what to say. It's okay. It's fine, man. Thank you. How did this make you feel, though? Any type of way? 
not necessarily bad because okay. I I I want to understand that they actually listening to what you know we're doing Your and yes and who in particular are they listening to because right. sometimes they may be listening to something else that mm. may not be my production. Be okay, well thank you very much for um, coming on the show today and for being such a great sport. I couldn't for get sure. my eyes off your eyebrows. They're like so full, like oh coming out God. this way. And every time you do this, I'm like <laughs> trying to not do it with you. Oh but uh, you should dash us eyebrows. We that makeup artist, oh my finish God. our brows. Oh my God. But thank you for coming on the for show. Sure. I hope you had fun. I did have fun. Great, great. Yes. And keep those brows. Really do keep them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'll go on a short yeah. break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Top 5 Popular African Music Instruments At number 5 is Shekere, one of the most famous shakers in Africa. The instrument consists of closely woven beads that form a net. It is found in West African countries such as Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Togo and Ghana. At number 4 is Balafon. Balafon looks like the xylophone or African marimba. It is a percussion instrument found in Ivory Coast, Ghana, Mali, and Burkina Faso. At number three is a talking drum. It is probably the most known drum from Africa. It is mostly found in West African countries such as Nigeria, Mali, Ghana, and Benin Republic. At number two is kalimba, also referred to as a thumb piano. The kalimba consists of strips placed on a resonator. The strip comes in varied lengths. Plucking the ends of the flexible strips produces a sound. Sitting at number one position is Kora. Probably stands out as one of the most famous stringed instruments. It may also come in terms such as Jali. The design of the instrument is almost similar to that of a guitar. All right, guys, it's a wrap. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with me today. I hope you had fun on my show. I had DJ Koblon on my hot seat, and I hope you got to learn one or two things from him, especially if you're an aspiring producer. Um, as you know, you can join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Hip TV and on Instagram at Official Hip TV. You can also follow me on Instagram, like I say, only if you wish, at Nancy Isime Official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. Goodbye.